Hey Hampton. Look, look, there's a camera. Oh yeah, that's a camera. Welcome to the Art Club Online. My name is Michelle, and today we're going to be drawing little pigs. <laughs> okay, so today I decided I'm actually just going to use Sharpie through the whole thing instead of starting with a pencil first like I usually do. But you can use a pencil first if it makes you feel more comfortable. So the first pig is going to be the cute pig, and this is fairly simple. I tried to keep it on the simple side this time. And all you got to do is make an arch shape kind of like that I like to use those shapes a lot in my drawings then we're gonna do one of the feet because it's kind of gonna be sitting down so we come out and then do in and out like that just for the little foot and then right back in to just about the same level as that leg. Do the same on this side, come out for the leg, back in like that, and then back in. Okay, so then right beside this line, right beside this point right here, we're gonna put the one of the front legs. So we're just gonna make a line down and a little up and down for the hoof and then back up. That's one of the legs. And we do the same here. And they're slightly leaning outwards, okay? Do you see how that line is slightly leaning that way? This line is gonna be slightly leaning this way. Up, down, and back up. And then we just attach the tummy like that. See, so this pig is kind of sitting on his butt. <laughs> All right, then really kind of close to the top, we're gonna put a nose. You see where I'm practicing? I'm gonna put an, a flat, kind of an oval shape. Like this, hope I'm not blocking the camera. And then two kind of upright ovals for the nostrils. And then pretty close to the nose on the corners, we're just gonna do dots for eyes this time. Then what is he missing? Ears. You see where there's, um, where this eye is? Up and a little bit more towards the forehead, we're gonna start the ear, okay? So you can put a point there. And so up, from the eye and go up over the forehead a little, like that. Then you can put another point as big as you want the ears to be, where the tip of the ear is gonna go. Just put a point, that's how big my ears are gonna be. So then we come from the point down to that point. See, and make it a little curved, which will make the ears look a little more real. And then this is easy, you just come down, bring the ear to the side of the head. Then inside the ear, we're gonna do one, two little wrinkles. Two little wrinkles. There. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's a little bit of a lazy piggy. Okay, so now for the cool pig, I thought I would do Minecraft. And I know a lot of you guys like Minecraft. I do too. So I thought I would do a Minecraft pig. Now for this Minecraft pig, we're not gonna do any 3D. You can try to if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So what we're gonna start with is a rectangle. And for this one, you really need to start with a pencil. 
because otherwise this part might be a little difficult. But you can do what you want. So this is just the body. I'm just doing a full rectangle for the body because I'm going to put over top I'm going to put the head over top. So right in this corner, we're going to do a square that goes up a little bit above that other rectangle. Do you see? So this is why we used a pencil. We need to erase that line inside the face. So if you used a pencil and you pressed too hard, then that might be a little bit difficult to erase. So maybe you want to draw it again, but go very lightly this time. So then for the legs, we're just going to come straight down from this line here. The legs are probably a little shorter than the body. Do a big rectangle, or that's more like a square actually down, do a square, then we're just going to divide these in half. Those are the legs. Then on the face we have kind of up a tiny bit from the bottom we have the nose. And now I'm not doing this perfectly according to all the the right pixels and so on. This is just going to be a freehand drawing of a pig. So see the nose is like a smaller rectangle towards the bottom half of the square face. In the corners of this nose we're going to put two even smaller rectangles. So I like to make the lines up first and then go all the way over to the edge. And then just in a little ways from this edge we do another line and in a little ways from this edge we do another line. And these are the eyes. One eye is looking that way, one eye is looking that way. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Oh, and on the edges of the nose, we put two small rectangles. Those are the nostrils. Those will be colored in as well. And so let's trace it over. So now for the coloring in part, I like to use a smaller Sharpie. Just because, like I've said before, when you color in with a big Sharpie, it can be really overpowering. So I like to do the little crosshatch type of shading, but you can just color them in if you want to. Crosshatching is easier than you might think it is, especially if you practice doing those lines on a regular basis. So also there's these little um, kind of shady parts on the back and the face of the pig. So I'm gonna just do some light lines like this. And then on the face has like a little spot there. Oops. Spot there. Spot here. We can also use this lighter, this tinier marker to shade we can put a little bit of shading under the chin and even on the side and then underneath the legs. So that's it for our episode on drawing pigs. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you thought. Um, send in your drawing as well so that they can be featured at the beginning of Art Club episodes.
I hope you guys are having a great time with art. I hope you're not getting discouraged in your art because that's one of the biggest um, traps that artists can fall into is getting discouraged about their art. But you know, art doesn't have to be difficult and everybody has a different style of drawing. So if your drawing style doesn't look exactly like someone else's, that is okay. It really is. You have a specific style and what you need to do is find out what you like to see in your drawings. So until next time guys, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. We'll be posting quite a few live videos on Facebook in the upcoming days. So if you want to check out some really simple little drawing tutorials, then you can follow us on Facebook and we will see you next time right here on the Art Club. If you guys haven't checked out my book yet, you can find it on Amazon all over the world and it is about a boy who escapes a place called Techville. Just send in your comments and messages via Facebook or here on YouTube and um, yeah, I would love, love to hear what you thought about Escape from Techville.